Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial and today we are going to see how we can create this type of text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start the video. Let's remove everything from the artboard. Let's create a simple background first. I'll use these three colors for my background. You can use the eyedropper tool or you can use these codes to fill the color. Next, let's apply some polka dots. And if you don't know where you can find polka dots, just click here click on these three dots or lines then go to open swatch library then patterns then basic graphics and then basic graphics dots and here you will find all these polka dot patterns next click on the opacity change the blend mode to overlay and change the opacity to 50 percent Let's lock our background layer and let's start creating our text effect. The font size will be 575 points and the font I'm using for this text effect is Dragon Fruit Days. Let's center this to the artboard. Next, click on this none to remove the fill color and then we'll go to appearance panel and click on this icon add new fill next go to gradient panel and apply default black and white gradient change the angle to 90 select this white point and i'll replace this with this color and i'll replace yellow color to this black point next go to the appearance panel duplicate this now select this layer and again go to the appearance panel and let's replace the colors select this yellowish point and change the color to this one and select this orange point and change the color of this one next go to the appearance panel select this layer then go to effect distort and transform and transform here apply values like this and then click ok next select this layer change the color of any abstract color then go to effect distort and transform and transform and move this layer vertically about 20 pixel then click ok next select this layer drag this to bottom and again select this layer and then go to gradient panel apply a default black and white gradient change the angle to 90 and let's replace color Next, again go to the appearance panel, then go to effect, path and offset path, apply a 50 pixel offset path, change joints to round, then click OK. Next, duplicate this layer, now select this last layer, again go to a gradient panel and apply colors like this. After that go to appearance panel, click on this arrow and then click on offset path and increase the offset value to 60 pixels. 
then click OK. Next, select this layer, duplicate this, select after that, select this layer, and change the color of this layer to this one. I'll use the eyedropper tool to apply the color. Then select this layer and drag this to bottom. Click on this arrow, then click on transform and apply values like this. After that, click OK. Next, again select this layer, duplicate this and select this last layer and click on this arrow open the properties then click on transform and change values like this after that click ok now select this layer then go to effect blur and gaussian blur and apply 20 pixel gaussian blur then click ok next select this layer duplicate this let's change the color of this layer to any abstract color and then go to effect distort and transform and transform and move this value around 30 pixels then click ok again select this layer drag this layer around here under this layer we'll use this layer for drop shadow and i'll apply this color for drop shadow let's move this layer a little bit more down around here then click OK. Next select this layer and go to effect, blur and Gaussian blur and apply around 10 pixel Gaussian blur and then click OK. Next select this first layer, duplicate this, change the color of this layer to white and then go to effect, stylize and inner glow. And I'll use this color, this first color for inner glow, and then click OK. Change the blend mode to multiply and opacity around 60 pixel and blend about 50, 50 pixel. Sorry, opacity to 60% and blur to 50 pixel. Then click OK. Next, click on this opacity and then change the blend mode to multiply then click ok again duplicate this first layer click on this arrow remove our inner glow change the opacity to normal and next go to effect path and offset path apply a minus 50 pixel offset path then click ok then select this first layer go to effect blur gaussian blur apply a 15 pixel gaussian blur then click ok select this first layer effect distort and transform and transform and move this layer like this then click ok select this layer duplicate this move this layer to top and let's apply a uh, simple line pattern double click on this pattern and let's change the angle of these lines to around 45 degree and let's change the pattern like this next click on this arrow then click on opacity and change the blend mode to color dodge next select this layer then go to effect blur and gaussian blur apply a three pixel gaussian blur then click ok let's change the opacity of this layer around 50 percent like this and here is our final text effect look. If you have learned something from this video, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.